<laughs> Hello all of you beautiful peoples. How are you doing today? I am doing fabulous because I'm in San Diego. How can I not be fabulous? I'm outside. The weather is fabulous too. Everything's just freaking fabulous. How about that? <laughs> okay, so today's video is actually a video that I promised to make a year ago and I never did and I never got around to it and everything just kind of life got in the way. Today's video is about making your own massage bars. Uh, I know you guys uh, love, what is that that uh, beauty plate that where they always buy the massage bars and the soaps Lush. that I hate? There you go. Lush Cosmetics. I know all of you guys love all the Lush Cosmetics. I hate it because I don't think it's worth the money. Um, and if you know what's in the massage bars, you can uh, absolutely kick yourself because you can do it for a, not, for a tenth of the price that you go. Uh, it's the exact same thing. If you look at the ingredients list, and even if you go all to the homeopathic type stores and you look at the um, ingredients list, they have those little foot uh, foot massage bars or foot cream things that you it looks like a, a deodorant it's the same thing all of it is the same thing the main ingredient in it is shea butter you can't leave it in the Sun it's like butter you can't you know it will melt if, if the temperatures are too high but that's exactly what it is it's shea butter and all they did was they put fragrance oil in it so uh, uh, I promise to teach you guys how to make your own massage bars for very cheap and um, then I'll tell you guys all the uh, pros of, of having the massage bars and what you can do with them. I used to make them in the salon in Canada when we were still in Canada, or I didn't make them, Johan made them, <laughs> sorry, and uh, I sold them in the salon. There is not one person that I have sold the massage bars to that doesn't like it. For you people who are always buying the massage bars, you will love this. I know a lot of people don't like the oil because it takes forever to actually go into your skin. It does absorb, but it doesn't absorb like a cream. You can't put it on because the, the, the fun thing about it being a massage bar is the fact that as long as you keep rubbing it, it's like a massage oil. It stays uh, emollient, <laughs> emollient, emollient on your skin. And in the moment you actually stop rubbing the product on your skin, that's when it only actually absorbs. So your hands are going to be oily. <clears throat> Don't go putting the, the massage, the, the, the product on your hands and then go and drive or do something because everything you're going to touch is, is going to be oily. So um, that's the basic nature of this. Now, everybody who already knows how the mas or, or likes the massage bars, massage bars and know what they look like this is it so um the the products uh, i'm going to just list all the products because i didn't check out all the prices for you most most of everything you can get from um coastal scents i got the uh shea butter from coastal scents i got a big huge i think it's a 10 pound or a what is there two uh hang on i can't i can't remember but you you can buy small it's so cheap it's crazy i'll, I'll list it all in the down bar anyway for you and um, they have beautiful uh, coconut fragrance um, and I know some coconut fragrances are very fake and toilet spray smelling, mm -hmm. but the ones from Coastal Scents are not. It's really fabulous. That's the one that I've used. It's the only one I bought and it's the only one that I've used in the salon. Now, I can't find it because it was somewhere in the garage and there's so many boxes in the garage right now. Um, that's the reason I, I never actually made the video. I didn't want to order more stuff of what I've I've been using have. the massage bar, the, or the, the um, shea butter bars um, on my body every night on my feet and I never have cracked feet. I've never had yucky toenails or dead cuticles or anything so, so you know the product is like it's fabulous so anyway the, the the fragrance oil I use today is actually my favorite but I didn't even know it existed I got it from my daughter's friend just to make the massage bars with and it's the Japanese cherry blossom my favorite yeah, fragrance the body works the is from the Japanese um, uh, cherry blossom so that's what I make what I made these these bars or what Johan made these bars with so um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope I'm saving you a shitload full of money because that's exactly what it's going to be. You guys are spending so much money and wasting your money on a tiny little massage bar for $10 or $7 or whatever. And I'm telling you, you can make yourself 600 massage bars for the same price. So uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope this helps a couple of you. And it's really easy to make. So don't think it's a major disaster. My kitchen's a little bit messy right now, but it's not a big deal. So I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, yes. And, and I also wanted to mention uh, to the new subscribers of mine, which I'm pretty sure came from Gina. Uh, welcome to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy and have fun. So have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So let's get started. Johan um, is going to help me because he's the one that's usually making the uh, massage bars for me. And uh, I'm in my kitchen right now, as you can see, right next to my stove. And there's my microwave. And these, uh, now just before you start people, we have um, the underbar. I'm going to list everything for you there plus the prices uh, because I don't know them off by heart. And I'm going to tell you where to buy them and how much they cost right in the, in the underneath bar. So first thing you're going to need 
is uh, unrefined, unrefined shea butter. Let me see if I can. Got that from Coastal Scents. Then you are going to need a glass um, measuring or a jar, measuring jar, one of those big ones. Um, some cooking spray, some um, fragrance oil. You can choose anything. This one is Japanese cherry oil, which I never ever use. I can't find the one that I always use, which is uh, coconut oil. When I made the massage bars in the salon, I always used to um, use coconut oil and I didn't make different flavors because that would just be a pain in the ass to sell because if you do you know a couple of different flavors then you get the people they can smell all the massage bars and then they prefer this one and then that one wants that one and, and the more flavors you have the more they seem to want and coconut I find uh, coconut flavor is one of the things that can uh, match any perfume basically you can go floral with it you can go spicy with it and it, it mingles with all of it so if you use something with a base of uh, coconut oil it can match any perfume so that I only made a coconut oil one which I sold in the salon everybody loved it and I had no complaints whereas if they were more different flavors people would have freaking drove, driven me crazy okay so the next thing you're gonna need um, obviously is your cooking spray and then molds now we didn't use cooking spray all the time but the stuff we uh, used you're not going to be able to get so we're going to use cooking spray for today. The other thing is your mold. You can choose any mold you want. Um, I've been doing it for a couple of years so I use these uh, little, what do you call them, f um, you know the muffin, this mini muffin pans. That's what I use to, to make them in. And then of course um, measuring spoons. Now um, with the amount that we do Johanna's figured out how much it's got. Look, I usually make one, two, three, four. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five out of the, the recipe that we're going to give you. So I'm just going to go call my husband so he can get started on the process and show you guys. Oh, this is the eight pound or is it ten pounds? Um, the, the, the shea butter that I got is from um, Coastal Scents. Now, I can't imagine there not being people that know anything about Coastal Scents, but I'll put all the details of that in there. So this is the unrefined shea butter, okay? So I'm going to go call my husband and then we can get okay, started. Okay, everybody. Here's my hubby. Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so a couple of things. Marina forgot to mention that you need a scale, or I use a scale because I want to make my bars exactly the same size. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to sell them, I mean, it's obvious I want to make mm -hmm. them right size. I want to make them too big. Mm -hmm. uh, and give the people more than they're paying for it. <laughs> You're crazy. That's, that's just, that is that's terrible. Just, He's teasing. Okay, you can use any molds you want. I just found those molds work the best. Okay, so first you got to cut them with some of these, some of this cooking spray stuff. Uh, nothing magic there. You don't have to watch me cut all five of them. Well, edit it out. Okay. Just don't have nice to go cutting. crazy. Okay. And uh, weird stuff. Let me use this before I see what it does. And uh, the label says the stuff contains water, which doesn't make any sense to me. So I guess it will have to maybe dry a little bit or whatever. We'll see what it does in a couple okay. minutes. So that's how you start. Okay. Next. So now I take this tiny little block of shea butter. <laughs> boom, from the back. Oh yeah. I should not want to watch this. It's so funny. <laughs> it comes very well packaged, so you're not going to uh, get a product that whenever you open your box, it's going to be all over your makeup and everything. It's almost too well packaged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, and it's in another plastic wrapper. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video now until he's got and it now out. Now have the shea butter open. And I'm going to put this on the scale and zero the scale. Because I don't want to know how much that thing weighs. I want to make five bars of 100 grams. So I want a little bit over 500 grams of this stuff because you never get everything out. Some of it sticks to this bowl, all that. So it's just like butter, it cuts the same. And it's just a little bit messier. Um, hey, look who visited. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm getting a spanking. <laughs> There, it's like okay. 514 or 16 grams. That's what <laughs> oh Just a couple of grams for luck. Okay? <laughs> so next, I'm going to melt this. And for that, I stick it in the microwave for about, you know, this stuff is really making a nice bit of Okay, so it's messy. Make sure you do it in the kitchen it's not or too if you're. Bad. I'm just a messy worker. Okay. I'm going to stick it in, in the, the microwave. microwave. And you're not going to see the inside. It's dirty. <laughs> And it just, just only has to be molten. You don't want to have it boiling or whatever. Mm. So you wait the three minutes. And okay, you uh, stand that side because the light's behind you. Okay. Can't I don't see want it. people to see me. <laughs> you can turn on the lights, but... Uh, uh -huh. That's okay. All right, so you melt it for three minutes. And then once it's melted, we'll show you what it is. There we go. Like. The three minutes are over. And let's check it out. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay, it's hot. So... Be careful, don't go burn yourself to a crisp. So this is what it looks like now. There's still some pieces in that they do melt when I stir it. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I mean, just like so. So now it's a consistency of oil. And that's the right consistency. Yeah, those will melt. Those okay. Pieces. Now, move this way so we can see what you're doing. I'm taking some of this fragrance oil, Marinda's favorite of the moment. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use five milliliters or one teaspoon. Yeah, it's actually my daughter's friend ordered a bunch of stuff. I couldn't find my stuff in the garage. Um, I'm going to call that one teaspoon. Okay, that's, that's one teaspoon. That fell in. Okay, so okay. you pour it in and then you mix up, mix up. Okay. This is the fragrance oil that mixes right in. No problem there. Mm -hmm. Can I smell? Mmm, fabulous. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, now people uh, also remember when when the stuff is oh when the stuff is still melted, it smells stronger than what it's going to melt when it's actually set. So don't don't go freaking out if the smells. If, if, if you put it in, it has to smell fairly strong when it's still in a liquid form. It's going to be much more gentle when it sets. When it's cold, yes. When it's cold, yeah. Okay, so there you go. He's mixed it in with a teaspoon. Now, and now he's going to just pour them. Take yes. a pan. Just to get okay. on the scale. You don't have to be this precise if you're making it for yourself or for gifts. Okay. It's scale just, is zero. This is the way, sorry, this is the way we've done it because of the salon and selling the bars, you can't sell little bars and you know charge the same price all the time. So that's why it's become so uh, technical, I guess. So he's just filling it to a hundred grams, grams. ninety eight, hundred. Good. There you go. That's the first one. Okay. So you put just that aside. aside. Just take the next one. And just keep them all. And this. Re zero the scale because these pans don't weigh exactly the same. You don't have to do that, but I. That's yeah, just I mean, me. you can use any molds you want, obviously, if it's for yourself and for gifts. If you sell it, it's a little bit different. But yeah, so you just keep pouring. I guess you don't have to, we don't have to take time in showing every single one, but he's actually measuring, and they're all going to be 100 grams. So there you go. And we'll okay. show you when it's done. Okay, all the molds are filled. Now we're just going to leave them in the kitchen just out like that. I'm not going to put them in the fridge or anything because if you try to force them to cool down too fast they do weird things. Mm -hmm. They don't come out nicely. They don't they tend to stick to the mold. So once they're cold we'll show you but then I'm going to stick them in the refrigerator mm -hmm. make them real solid and then I'll show you how easily they come out. Okay now for obviously we can tell you it's going to be an hour or a half hour. It, we're in San Diego right now and it's hot as hell so um, obviously, I have no idea how long it's going to take here. The take kitchen is warm. Hours. It's going to take a couple of hours. Okay, there you go. Hi, everybody. So, so we're just back. The um, this is Saturday. It's the next day. We uh, ended up having to put the bars um, in the refrigerator because it's like 28 degrees uh, Celsius in San Diego. So they didn't set so well in the kitchen, which was very, very warm. We ended up leaving them. Here they are. They're done. They're rock solid. They're in the, this is the color that they are when they're ready. And Johan has taken one of them out of the molds. Now, I don't know if you can see these little bumps on here. They don't usually do that, but my kids 
uh, ended up coming and cooking all kinds of funky dinners and whatnot and spilled their oils and soy sauce and everything on there and Gina ended up uh, lifting um, lifting this <laughs> everything up so usually they're very smooth at the bottom just as smooth as they are at the top and now I'm going to get Johan to remove them for you so you can see how it's done there's different ways of doing it um, if you're strong enough and you have a counter that's not going to break or you can pick, take a wood block or something do you want to go ahead hubby okay let's try the f gentle method first I'm just gonna put it down and gently push press. on it uh, and then we try the other there, one. See? So there's another one out. If you just whack it hard enough, it'll come out too, but... Uh... So the cook and spray, which we weren't sure if it was going to work, worked perfectly fine. Uh, what we used in Canada was something called lecithin, but we don't have any of that. We had to get rid of all our liquids when we moved, and we didn't purchase it again. So you don't have to go and find some funky anything. You can use cook and spray. There they are. All of them are out. They're beautiful. Now, what I would do with these usually is I would take a cellophane wrap, uh, do a square, put it in a square, actually I wonder if I can, no I'm not going to be able to show you with one hand, and then I would basically wrap it, let me see if I can move away, wrap it up like this and tie a bow around it and that's how I sold it in the salon. Now for myself, this is not going to be gift or anything, I just take, um, so I'm going around in my kitchen, my kids are make, doing making makeup as well, my daughter and her friend, so what I do is I just take a Ziploc baggie, like so, and I put the, um, bars right in the Ziploc baggie because I'll tell you why if they do melt like if you don't have a container to put them in just hang on a sec 